Good afternoon and welcome to Atlantis. Uh, give you a quick tour of the boat. Starting up at the bow between the anchors, you can see a block hanging down. That's for the tack line, for the ASIM. Uh, we've got primary anchor on port, secondary anchor on starboard, and my brand new Maxwell VW 1500 windlass. Uh, here we have the chain plate for the staysail, which is not rigged at the moment uh, because the bag just came back from being repaired. Uh, we carry a whisker pole, which frankly I have not deployed since I bought it a couple seasons ago. Um, so we may get the chance to use that. Uh, moving back, we have the spare jib halyard, the staysail halyard and the staysail forestay which as you can see is dyneema there's a stainless fitting that attaches to this and to the chain plate uh, all the halyards are on the mast so if you're a racer this is probably unfamiliar territory main halyard is white spare jib on starboard one of the blue ones, the red halyard, is spinnaker, the staysail is black, the jib halyard we use is blue. Uh, there are Garhauer clutches for all of the halyards. Uh, the main halyard's clutch is down here because the exit for the main halyard is at uh, almost at the deck. Um, you see two turning blocks on the deck. Those are your reefing lines. Reef one is on port. Reef two is on starboard. Uh, the halyard is marked for reef one. Um, and the process is pretty simple. We use the two cabin top winches for reefing and also for staysail, unless we're reefed and we can use the primaries for the staysail. Uh, the forward jib cars are for the staysail. The aft jib car is for the Jenny. Back through the turning block to the primary. Uh, we also have secondary winches in the back of the boat. Um, ST60s are over the companionway. Uh, here's the hard bimini with three 100 watt solar panels that theoretically should power us the whole way uh, without the need to start the engine. There's a Raymarine ES98 sharp plotter uh, at the helm. And then on the port side of the cockpit is the autopilot control and the remote for the VHF. Uh, the main sheet is behind you when you're at the helm. Uh, in light air, we use the cam cleat. Once it starts blowing, we move to the winch. Uh, the car is, uh, I found brand new 30 year old stock of the car from Holland Marine a couple of seasons ago. So the car is new, makes a big difference trimming the sail. Here are your, I guess, tertiary winches for the spinnaker. Uh, depending on what head sail we're using, we may or may not run the spinnaker sheets up to the primaries. We do put snap uh, snatch blocks on the tow rail right about where the winches are if we are running the spinnaker. Um, Got a life ring, got a life sling, we'll have a throwing rope, and we have three lazarettes. Uh, in here, in the starboard one, primary thing is propane, center one is spare lines, the life raft, the ditch bag, and then fenders are on the port side. We have a, an inflatable man overboard pole that goes into this lovely PVC box. 
uh, that is just above the power inlets. Uh, we do have check stays that when we are using them, come back to these reshored uh, eyes on the tow rail. When we're not using them, we keep them forward to keep them out of the way of the main. Uh, uh, we do have a winch at the mast, uh, standard vang. Outhaul is on the mast. You can see, hopefully, it's the label. It's a 12 to 1 purchase, so even when it's blowing, uh, you don't need any assistance to uh, pull it in. We're going to head below, and it's not quite ready for the ocean, but I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, we've got the nav station with a computer that uh, is running OpenCPN. Um, so we have this as a backup for uh, the chart plotter, as well as an iPad and uh, everybody's iPhone. Um, the fuel gauge rotates. You rotate the bezel and it tells you it goes from tank to tank. And uh, there you can see one of the fuel tanks says three quarters. Another one says three quarters. That tank's not in use and so forth. And that is the aft fuel tank. Uh, so, um, and then we can check the voltage here. The Iridium Go is here. Uh, you, the antenna will be flipped up to turn it on. Battery powered VHF, primary VHF, stereo, breakers, uh, electronic flares, binoculars, gloves, winch handles, first aid are here. Batteries are under and behind the seat. Um, and then in this little compartment is the primary ray core and also the switch for the bilge pump. We have an, a manual bilge pump right here. Uh, most of the lights are on switches. Took me a long time to figure this out. These are the overhead switches for the salon. Uh, as you can see, we've got red lights in them for night vision. Um, so even if there's a switch on the fixture, it may not work because it's switched from a wall switch. Uh, we've got a 12 volt TV with a DVD player velcroed to the back of it. So if you get bored underway, you can always uh, watch a movie. Uh, forward head, still doing a little electrical work. Um, and again, the switch for the head is all the way over here. And the switch for the forward cabin is also here. And you can see the forward cabin stored both sides. Uh, these drawers have uh, plumbing fittings, electrical fittings, and tape in them. Uh, this is an AC unit here. And then down below are tools uh, in various bags. Uh, the electrical meter and the calipers are in the drawer here. Going back on the starboard side, this is the adjuster for the baby stay. Um, as you can see, it's pretty substantial. Um, please don't drop it overboard. We've got uh, lubricants, um, angle grinder, and Dremel in here. Uh, the most important cabinet behind the starboard berth 
is the next to the last one. As you move aft, there are screws and electrical fittings, you know, crimp connectors in there. Uh, this is food storage, including some leftovers we probably don't want to eat. Uh, there are lee cloths on both port and starboard. Uh, the port's a little harder to climb into because of the table, but uh, once you're in there, you're pretty cozy. Working our way back in the galley, um, there's a cutting board here. Uh, you've got um, lighters and sharpeners here. My homemade knife rack which consists of a magnetic knife holder covered by a piece of bamboo uh, so that there are no expo exposed blades. Uh, these cabinets are all storage, mostly food. The last one, I believe, has trash bags. Uh, we have a four burner force tent oven here. Uh, the refrigerator, which we keep closed at sea with a carabiner, um, especially on the starboard tack. And when you open these underway, these lids are very heavy and I strongly recommend using the old fashioned rope and S hook so that you don't reach into the refrigerator and have a lid come down on you. Don't ask how I know. The forward of the two boxes is the refrigerator and the aft box is the freezer. So, yeah, try and get that carabiner back on without any success. There we go. Or not. Helps when you put it in the right hole. Uh, this little gray thing is a drying rack for dishes. Got another cutting board there. Um, going back on the starboard side, here we have the engine room. A four cylinder Yanmar turbo uh, and uh, hopefully that's about all you're ever going to see of it. Uh, we have spare belts and filters and so forth in this plastic container. Um, these are the steering cables. And then you can see the new Raycor and transfer pump that I installed over the winter. And again, we have a light switch and the main cabin, some storage. I'm sure my wife will take up most of it uh, and I'll take up the rest. And then the aft head, uh, which has a separate shower and takes you back to the nav station. Um, so, one other item I meant, meant to mention uh, are the two foot pumps, foot forward fresh. Aft salt uh, and they feed into their respective nozzles, which is an improvement because when we bought the boat, they were reversed, which was really confusing. Um, down here, we keep water, there's a drawer for spices, and then over on the nav station side, you see three drawers. Uh, the top one has 
my trusty six-in-one screwdriver, usually a roll of rigging tape and miscellaneous stuff, important stuff like the remote for the TV and the DVD. Second drawer is miscellaneous, and the third drawer is where the snatch blocks are kept. Uh, so I hope this uh, gives you some idea of, about the boat and how she's set up, and I am looking forward to our trip. Thanks.